In the last video, we were able to find the equation for the regression line, the equation for the regression line for these four data points. What I want to do in this video is figure out the r squared for these data points. Figure out how good this line fits the data. Or even better, figure out the percentage, which is really the same thing. Figure out the percentage of the variation of these data points, especially the variation in y, that is due to or that can be explained by a variation in x. So to do that, I'm actually going to get a spreadsheet out. I actually have tried to do this with a calculator, and it's much harder. So uh, hopefully this doesn't confuse you too much to use a spreadsheet. And I'm going to make a couple of columns here. And spreadsheets actually have functions that'll do all of this automatically, but I really want to do it so that you could do it by hand if you had to. So I'm going to make a couple of columns here. This is going to be my x column. This is going to be my y column. This is going to be the column, I'll call this y star. This will be the y value that our line predicts based on our x value. This is going to be the this is going to be the error error between error with line error with the line so it's going to be the difference and we call it the squared error with line actually let me just do the error with line error with I'll do the squared error squared error squared I want I don't want this to take up too much space squared squared error with line and then the next one, I want to do the squared squared error. Actually, no, I already had the squared error. And then the next one, the next one, I am going to have, I'm going to have the the squared variation, squared variation for that y value, for this y value squared squared from from the mean from the mean y. From the mean y, and I think these columns by its, by themselves will be enough for us to do everything. So let's first put all the data points in. So we had negative two, comma negative three. That was one data point. Negative one, comma negative one. Then we had one, comma two. Then we have four, comma three. Now, what will what does our line predict? What does our line predict? Well, our line says, look, you give me an x value, and I'm going to tell you what y value I'll predict. So when x is equal to negative 2, the, the y value on the line is going to be the slope. So this is going to be equal to 41 divided by 42 times times our x value. And I just select that cell. And just, just a little bit of a primer on spreadsheets, I'm selecting the cell D2, the cell D2. I was able to just move my cursor over and select that. But that tells me the x value minus 5 over 21. Minus 5 divided by minus 5 divided by 21. Minus 5 divided by 21. Just like that. Just like that. So just to be clear of what we're even doing, this y star here, I got negative 2.19. That tells us that this point right over here, this point right over here is negative, this point right here is negative 2.19 right over here. So when we figure out the error, we're going to figure out the distance between negative 2 and negative 2.19. Between sorry, between negative three, that's our y value here. Between negative three and negative two point one nine. So let's do that. So this, so the error, the error is just going to be equal to our y value. That's cell E two, cell E two, minus our the value that our line would predict. And we want the so that just that value is the actual error, but we want to square it. So we want to square it just like that. So we will square it. And then, let me make sure I did the right thing. Yep. And then the next thing we want to do is the square distance. So this is equal to the squared distance of our y value from the y's mean. So what's the mean of the y's? Mean of the y's is 1 fourth. So minus 0.25 is the same thing as 1 fourth. And we also want to square, we also want to square that. Now, this is what's fun about spreadsheets. I can apply those formulas to every row now. And notice what it did when I did that. Now all of a sudden, this is the y value that my line would predict. It's now using this x value and sticking it over here. It's now figuring out the square distance from the line using using the what the line would predict and using the y value, this one. And then it does the same thing. And then it does the same thing over here. It figures out the square distance of this y value from the mean from the mean. So what is the total squared error with the line? So let me just sum this up. The total squared error with the line is 2.73. And then the total 
the total variation from the mean, squared, the squared distances from the mean of the y, are 22.75. So let me be very clear what this is. Let me be very clear what this is. So let me write these numbers down. So our squared, I'll write it up here so we can keep looking at this actual graph. I'll write it over here. So our squared error versus our line, our total squared error, we just computed to be 2.74. I rounded a little bit. And what that is is you take each of these data points, vertical distance to the line. So this distance squared plus this distance squared plus this distance squared plus this distance squared. That's all we just calculated on Excel. And that total distance is two that total squared variation to the line is 2.74, or total squared error with the line. And then the other number we figured out was the total distance from the mean. So the mean here is y is equal to 1 fourth. So that's going to be right over here. So y is equal to 1 fourth is going to be right over, this is 1 half, so right over here. So this is our mean y. Let me draw it a little bit neater than that. This is our mean y value. This is our mean y, y value, or the central tendency for our y values. And so what we calculated next was the total error, the squared error from the means of our y values. That's what we calculated over here. This is what we calculated over here in the spreadsheet. You see it in the formula. It is this number, e2 minus 0.25, which is the mean of our y's, squared. That's exactly what we calculated. We calculated it for each of the y values, and then we summed them all up. It's 22.75. It is equal to, it is equal to 22, 22.75. So if you wanted to know, so this is essentially the error, the error that the line does not explain. This is the total error. This is the total variation of the numbers. So if you wanted to know the percentage of the total variation that is not explained by the line, we take you could take this number divided by this number. So 2.74, 2.74 over over 22.75. This tells us the total. This tells us the total, or the the percentage. This tells us the percentage of total. Variation, total variation, not, not explained by the line or by the variation in x. By variation, variation in x. And so what is this number going to be? What is this number? I could just use Excel for this. So if I'm just going to divide, so I'm just going to divide this number divided by, divided by this number right over there. I get 0.12. So this is equal to 0.12. So this is equal right over here. This is equal to 0.0.12. Or another way to think about it is 12% of the total variation is not explained by the variation in x, the total squared distance between each of the points, or, or their, their kind of spread, their variation, is not explained by the variation in x. So if you want the amount that is explained by the variance in x, you just subtract that from 1. So let me write it right over here. So we have, so our r squared, which is the percent of the total variation that is explained by x, is going to be 1 minus that 0.12 that we just calculated. 1 minus that 0 0.12 that we just calculated, which is going to be 0 0.88. So our r squared here is 0.88. It's, a, it's very, very close to 1. The highest number it can be is 1. So what this tells us, or a way to interpret it this, is 88%, 88% of the total variation, total variation of these y values is explained, is explained by the line or by the variation in x, by variation in x. And you can see that. It looks like a pretty good fit. Each of these aren't too far. They're definitely much closer to this line. They're definitely much closer to those, those, each of these points are definitely much closer to the line than they are to the mean line, to the mean line. In fact, all of them are closer to our actual line than to the mean.